Nat 20. Welcome back, Nat 20, where in our previous episode, our adventurers uh, met up with Beast Snack to try to find, to get him to uh, lead them to the depths. As well, uh, the King of Avranches was revived fully. And then everyone went to the castle to talk to King Alan to try to get Rocky Talkies and to try to apparently start some trade with them. Uh, so that's where we left off. The crew are planning on start being a part of the revolution or rebellion. If we keep this up, they should call us the Motley Crew. Nice. Fuck, I'm full of good ones today, boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so what would you guys like to do? I think we should go to the castle and murder the king. I think we should <laughs> spray paint graffiti slander all over the king's walls. The damn figure's no, still let's, there. Uh, let's just go have uh, Torian take us to He has vanished. The... Yeah. You don't see him anymore. He was just there for like about <clears throat> like 30 seconds and then took off. Uh, Torian did say he was going to take us to Can the leader Zix, Zix Bars? Six Krager. Six Krager. Six Krager. Bless you. Because <laughs> you're tight. <laughs> uh, yeah, no, uh... I guess we're gonna go find him then, right? Okay, yeah, let's do this. <laughs> okay, so it is starting to get somewhat late at night now, and Torian will lead you through a few streets until you guys get to what looks to be a kind of more decrepit looking house. And then, uh, Torian will knock a certain way, so. And then uh, someone will answer, and you see that this is a man who looks really rugged, and like he could, you assume he might normally be homeless, but he's got dark black hair that kind of goes down to his shoulders. He's got a really stern face, no facial hair. He seems to be around like eighteen or so years old. He's a human, and like really ragged clothes. And he greets Beast, Beast Snack, like, Beast Snack, it's always good to see you. Uh, who are your friends here? And he'll just put an illusion of friends and help in, on a wall. We want to fuck the king up. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> come to the right place. Come in, come in. Offering all your king fucking needs. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and as you walk in, you see that there are about ten others in this room. There's also a big table with a map, with a map of the entirety of Stillsby in the center of the table, a bunch of chairs around it, and the guy who greeted you will ask you guys, why would you like to get rid of this king? <laughs> just want to make sure we're on the same terms. Before, so smart, is he? Th- I'm just... Blaze is really excited because he realized he just stepped into a hidden council room, and that's like the epitome of cool, in his opinion. And he's super excited. But yeah, he's just like clapping his hands. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> just, this is awesome. Uh, but yeah, uh, as you said, Ryan. He's not very smart, is he? Kind of a shitty king. Yeah, he definitely is. I get the strong impression that he's super duper corrupt. Yeah, you have the right impression. Like, he's right in Shavadaw's right pocket. So you guys are anti Shavadaw too? Yes. Which is dangerous. Just want to make sure you know what you guys are getting into. We know all about danger. <laughs> I was edgy, dude. <laughs> he's already tried killing us once. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I guess that's good to know. Uh, that qualifies you. What are your guys' names? Lazarus. Blazing sunrise. I'm gonna go over and look at the map. <laughs> <laughs> That's fair off. Uh, <laughs> Arendelle. Right. I am Zix Crager. Uh, I'm. What's uh? I, I say. How do you spell that? <laughs> uh, X I Z K S K R A G E R. Uh, what race are you? He's a human, and he seem he's only eighteen years old. Oh, a human. Yeah. Ooh, rare. Uh, well, why do you want to take down the king? He's done terrible things for this town. Like, the homelessness is terrible. He's so corrupt that there's literally a fucking black market underneath the exchange that Travadaw operates. 
And it's and not that, really a secret. It's pretty blo- loud yeah, and boisterous down there. Exactly. Yeah. And there's fucking child slavery and like slaving of ev- any kind, really, as well as so many drugs and so many. There's like fighting pits there, and it's just not good. We should not have this in the city. There needs to be a change. That's what we're trying to do. And I, I guess I've kind of become the leader of this rebellion. Although I, I don't really think I should be, because what the hell do I know? Yeah, so, first rule of being a leader, uh, show some confidence, my <laughs> man. <laughs> Not really instilling courage into us when you just tell us you don't even know what the fuck you're doing. There you go. Well, I'm doing my best. <laughs> <laughs> I wish that really was all that mattered, but, uh, look, we swapped one shitty leader for this guy. <laughs> and you do notice that the people, the other people in this room do seem to have, like, they seem to look at him with great confidence and stuff. Clearly, if they like you, you must have done something to impress these people. Guess I might have. don't know what it was, but they follow me, and as long as we're on the same page, I guess we're... You'll hopefully do good. I turn to Ryan, I'm like, yeah, we're definitely... I, I whisper this. Yeah, we're definitely going to have to take the reins on this one. <laughs> Beast Snack will also put in a little kind of motion to Zix and put in the illusion of the King of the Branches on the throne. And Zix will be like, well, no, I don't say. That's my son. That might work as... The King is here. The King's in Silsby. I he is. Okay, good to know. We might have something here then. Uh, what do you guys think about putting the King of the Branches on the throne here? At least temporary until the sun can rule. I well, think it's a great idea. I but actually... he has a city to govern himself anyway, so he needs a place to stay. Wait, excuse me? <laughs> you have enough on your plate, little guy. Uh, <laughs> listen, the important part is that King of the Branches is a nice substitute. Uh, Let's let's not tell them about the Shardana. They're kind of like a like, little busy. Is something wrong with the branches? No, it's better than ever. <laughs> <Roll deception. laughs> uh, uh, deception. Yeah. <laughs> Jokes on you, motherfucker! I rolled a dirty twenty. <laughs> you rolled an eighteen plus uh, three, so twenty-one. <laughs> <laughs> so he believes that something might be wrong with the branches. Uh, okay, uh, later, I want you to tell me what happened in the branches. Okay, but right, later. Yeah, right now we'll deal with Stillsby. So, what we are thinking of doing is, well, we've, ga- we've gained the faith of pretty much the entire homeless, and as well as the lower class population, and we've gained about half of the middle class here. The only problem that we see right now is that... We're fighting guards and Travador's men, and they can be really brutal. Uh, so, do you guys know any way to get more weapons, or, mm. or like we don't need this to happen in a physical fight? We can try to, we can try to just kidnap the king, and put him in a cell where he belongs. But the thing with that is we'll need to deal with Shavadaw too and any of his other, like, right-hand men. Uh, if it's a matter of getting the king, that's easy. <laughs> I'll sneak in there, I'll take him, I'll even kill him for you if you want. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit. Just kind of revive him again. I think for now we should try not to kill people. Because that's what the king and Shavadaw do, and we don't want to be them. Oh. Wow, morals in D and D. I uh, I sheath my dagger again. I'm like, okay, uh, but if it's a matter of kidnapping, give me a black cloak and I'm in and out. Elrendel has a black cloak. I already have a black cloak. Can I? Oh, buy I will go. <laughs> Can I borrow your cloak? I'll go with you. Okay, <laughs> Elrendel, this is a stealth mission. Yeah. What's Tony? What's your stealth? <laughs> plus two. It's not bad. It's not great. I got plus six. Uh, we could probably do it if you want to come with. I would yeah, recommend I just going alone by myself. Okay. But if you really want to come, you can come. Sure. All right. Listen. So we're going to kidnap the king? 
just right now. Just fucking right <laughs> Honestly, now. that right seems now. like a great plan. I mean, if we kidnap him, that's like the whole... That side's taken care of, because right. there's two sides. Right. There's Shabadaw, well, then there's the king. We can just kidnap the king. Except, the only thing is, than that. his guards will try to come after us. Does he know... Do they know where you're staying? They, do not, they don't know who I am either. Yeah, but they'll, they'll just crack down on the entire homeless population. Exactly. We can't hide them all. He's got a point. And, uh... True. The root pl- problem of all this is Shavadaw. Yeah. Aren't right, the guards the controlled by Shavadaw? Mm-hmm. Most of them are. Okay. The king is just a figurehead. So, we kidnap the king, but <laughs> if it comes to Shavadaw, we should probably do the old uh, killing. It seems I'm fine fitting. with that. It's only fitting. Yeah. The guy's got to come in. I mean, I saw some, some sad-looking kids down there. Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey Ryan <laughs> You should have told me sooner <laughs> I didn't want you to start a fight I wouldn't have <laughs> Yeah, yeah I you would <laughs> <laughs> I know how to pick my battles I don't know about that I, Have I ever Yeah I do <laughs> I've never not picked my battle well, Anyway So uh Uh what, 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 what should we do then We should have one group go after the king while the other ones assassinate Shavadaw. I want to be a part of that one. <laughs> Killing Shavadaw? Yeah. Yeah, well, Aylor and Del are going to go get the king. And yeah. these men who are in this room with us are the best men that we have as well. They're great fighters. They're sneaky. <laughs> is, uh, is one of them named Xander? No. <laughs> yes! <laughs> I miss Xander. I hate Xander. Uh, and... These Games guys will words. help with <laughs> everything for this, too. As will I. So I think we, we should decide on when we decide to pull this stuff, and then decide on who goes where and who does what. We should start a massive riot in the city, and then uh, use that as a distraction. I have the perfect candidate for starting a riot. <laughs> and I say, you, my friend, can do crazy shit with your element magic. What? What? <laughs> um, look, I told you, I'm not gonna kill anybody. You don't have to hurt anyone, just, just, just gotta really start down. a riot so they hurt themselves. What makes you think I'm good at causing attention? You, you're always the center of attention. <laughs> um. Oh, right, yeah. me, I'm fair and I'm up in the crow's nest. Okay, shut up! <laughs> I'm throwing icicles at these boats <laughs> and I kill the porpoise. <laughs> Stupid dolphins! Hey, that dolphin's still alive. We it's don't definitely I still alive. <laughs> it is. Uh, f- right, fine, alright, I will do the distracting, but I'm not killing anyone. That's fine, that's, we, I agree. we don't that's, want to kill anybody. That's for the best. Separate. Exactly, alright. We just... don't want to be seen as being killers. If There's we're going to try to. Bring your leadership to the sea. All right, so I'm the distraction. They're the sneaky. Uh, the Arendelle and Blaze are sneaky. Um, I'm just straight up Ron, yeah. apparently. So Ryan and Lazarus. We're the assassins. We're going to go shank a man. <laughs> Great. Shank. Hope you feel good about it. I'm not stealthy. You're murdering. It's fine. We do also know... Where Shavadal will be most of the time. So that can help with that getting him out of the picture. Shavadal, uh, more like Shankladal. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't even make sense. Because <laughs> you're going to shank him. Yeah, but... Uh, this is a serious topic of conversation. <laughs> Listen. Uh, <laughs> nice. I have something to say. Fuck. Uh, no, uh... Okay, so we we got a plan though. We got a plan. Everyone knows their part. Knows their role. Uh, yeah, you you guys seem to be taking a big lead in this. Well, uh, we don't mess around. Well, you're the one who told us you didn't know what you were fucking doing anyway. <laughs> <laughs> so you're gonna right. you got a better idea? No, nope, this works for me. I'm just wondering if you guys like where you'd like me and. Uh, our other people to help this, out. This is what your we can do. uprising. If you could summarize your traits into a list that consists <laughs> no, of strength, <laughs> dexterity, <laughs> wisdom, which one would be the highest and which one would be the lowest? Go kick cascading order. Best of least best. Make it's like uh, an interview. He, he, would, he would say dexterity, then uh, wisdom, charisma, strength, intelligence. 
He's a dum dum. Well, if you're, <laughs> or actually, no, it'd probably be intelligence than strength. Okay, <laughs> but basically, I'm getting the impression that he's kind of like he'd be probably best suited to follow me and Aaron, though. Probably. Okay. Listen, you can come with us. Make sure I don't kill anyone, because sometimes I get out of hand. <laughs> I can't. I can't help it. I, don't know. I can't help it. <laughs> There's a book. <laughs> so you're with Aaron and I, and uh, Theron. You should probably take a few people to do your riot with. I was just going to say that. I'm going to need your men. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> They're at your disposal. And Wonderful. the trust of them. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and that just leaves our noisy dwarf and bright yellow elf to assassinate Shadow. <laughs> oh, yeah. 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 Great. The we, least stealthy of the two. <laughs> what do you mean? You're a bright yellow. Um, I have he, plus five stealth. <laughs> and Dryden isn't, like, not stealthy. Yeah. I know. I, I, just I have make a funny. Just plus zero plus stealth. Zero. You're, like... Friend them kind of. So be like, hey, yeah. how's it going? He's like, oh, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> we should keep a small group for this assassination, but we should keep. We should have a couple men as backup as well. I can bring more men in too. And uh, be sack. Where would? Where do you want to be in, as part of this? And be sack will uh, an illusion, saying that he will be a part of the. He'll help with assassinating Shabadaw. Wow, this guy is going for it. Brutal. Love That's my guy! <laughs> <laughs> That's my boy b snack right there. A little tear. <laughs> so proud. Uh, when... I was thinking we do this tomorrow night. At midnight. Alright, that wow. sounds fair. Does that sound good to you? Yeah, we could do sounds that. Sounds fine. Yeah. Uh... Can we stay here? Of course. <laughs> may, 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 may or may, may blah, 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 blah. Yeah. We may or may not have pissed the king off. Yeah, that might be for the best thing. <sighs> One other thing. Yes. Do you have any explosives? I thought you said you didn't want to kill anyone. <laughs> I won't. Uh, I can get some. All right, I'm going to need explosives. Okay. <laughs> uh, just try not to kill anyone. Oh, I, I, or no, I'm not much killing damage. nobody. That's our job. That is my <laughs> one. <laughs> I always picture your character as like Gandalf. If Gandalf wasn't nearly as friendly, <laughs> <laughs> he's got fireworks and everything. That's what I picture. Gandalf's like, let's go blow shit up. <laughs> uh, so now, as y- you were saying something about a branches. Uh, we should no. probably talk quietly and alone Gandalf with just my friends. Mm-hmm. These these men in this room should uh, not know. <laughs> it's a need to know basis, and they're on the bottom of the list. I trust them with my lives. It's I don't trust like them with trust mine. It's they trust sensitive them. information. We just don't want to start a mass riot. Look, panic. the more people that know, the Sarah worse this can be. Nothing will leave yeah, this no, room in, uh, until it's needed. I really don't want to talk to your friends. Uh, but uh, okay, uh, I'll just. I don't really want to go through it again, so I'll yeah. just fill him in on what happened. Yeah. Uh, so after that, he kind of sighs, and you see that he has a lot of, on his plate, and this is just another thing that he feels like he should take on. See, that's why I didn't want to tell you. You should stay focused on what's in front of you. You're right. Uh, the Shardana will be after we get the city how it should be. Yeah, and besides, all signs point to them attacking a mall anyway, so we don't have to worry about them for a while. <laughs> <laughs> My brother lives in mall. <laughs> and I was like, we need to go to mall. <laughs> I am curious, uh, though. You're a human. Yeah. Uh, you, you're a human too, are you not, Fern? Ooh. How'd you... Uh, did, he, did, did he just oust him? Yeah. Because we don't know that. You know, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm sorry. I shouldn't judge. Uh, mm, I don't really. I don't. Roll deception. I yeah. yeah. Roll deception. I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna see through I you. I definitely don't trust that. Yeah. I'm gonna incite that. Can we do that? Is that okay? Sure. I'm gonna. I got a nat fucking. <laughs> nice. I got a nineteen. What are we going for? Uh, twenty-two. Twenty-two. Yeah, I got twenty. 19. What's that with your twenty-seven? Yeah, uh, insight. He sees through the lie. I got an eighteen. So I got you don't. I got a nineteen. You don't. You don't. So you're the only one who thinks that he might still be human. I won't say anything yet. I'll, I'll see what Bye. Bye. Yeah, you've convinced uh, Zix. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look, we just need to stick to the plan. I say we get a good night's rest and do our job. I want some nachos. 
<laughs> I don't want some nachos. But, uh, <laughs> Ryan, what are you nachos? <laughs> but, uh, do you know Sora? Sora? There's not a lot of humans, so I figured uh, uh, you guys are quite rare. You might know each other. It's a Sora. young girl. She uh, was traveling to Mall. <gasps> oh, no. Poor Sora. <laughs> <laughs> it's a uh, young girl. She, she was traveling with a... Traveling. Uh, a Kinku named Kyle and a uh, oh. Tabaxi, the uh, will so to live. He'll be alive. I, d- I did see them walking past here like quite a while ago. They were on their way to Jesus, Mall, I think. I think I caught that's what they said. That's I think they said they were heading south as well. That's I just curious if you knew each other. No, I I've seen them when they were in town, but that's all. Where are you from then? I'm from Stillsby. You are? Okay. Yeah. That's a shame. Yeah. No offense. No, with the kin here, it's a real shame. A lot, a lot of shit's gone down. It's not a good place right now. He kind of stares off into the distance. That seems like a good time to go to bed. Uh, <laughs> so tomorrow at midnight? Yeah. So you guys take a long rest. Uh, hey. I don't need to sleep. Sure. Yeah, we haven't done any <laughs> combat in a while, flights, so we're okay. Yeah, just like, just kind of like yeah. stand there for eight hours. Maul. Is there anything you guys want to do while you're in this house? I want to paint the high council table. <laughs> like, just like a scene. I got dim okay. lighting, there's a map, there's probably little tokens of oh. like the city, and okay. then I want to paint that. Oh, you like, want to paint it in your notebook? Yeah, I want to you make you want searching. to paint like, the table in the room. <laughs> oh, no, no, yeah, no. I want to <laughs> paint like the, the scene of the high, t- the high council. When Zig sees that you're painting this, he tells you to just make sure that no one else sees this. Listen, I've had it's, this conversation before <laughs> with some other people, okay? Listen, no one reads my notebook. I'm an artist. I'm not allowed to ever express myself. I, I just want to make sure it's, like, that it doesn't fall into their own hands. Listen, just, like, Zixi. right behind him, leaving my listen, hand Listen, Zixi, you don't have to worry about me, okay? I know what I'm doing. I'm good. <laughs> so is there anything else that anyone else wants to do? Um, well, I'm just going to wait till everyone's asleep and I'm going to do a little snooping for any secret secrets okay. in this place. In this secret cave. In this secret council room. Uh, I'm just going to keep an eye on Farron, because... That guy's fucking suspicious now to me. <laughs> Make him take his mask off. Everyone always ends up... <laughs> <laughs> take off your clothes, Farron. <laughs> we want to see if you're a human. Uh, can I do an arcana check can on I the marbles? Can do I do an arcana check on the marble can I do marbles? An arcana? Uh, or like, maybe on a... Like a maybe on a Friday. Few, one or two. Or yeah, sure. Uh, just roll to see which one you're investigating. Um, a two. Two, uh, that is... The left one. I know, I'm quizzing you and you don't have your laptop. Just don't roll my dice, man. What if I rolled your dice? Look. So how about that? Oh, that's right. Now okay, uh, so roll an arcana check. Okay, I uh, think that's a plus uno for me. Plus uno. Uh, Twelve. Uh, besides what this marble looks like, you don't really gain any insight to what it does. Damn. Um, this one is just kind of whitish gray color. Okay. It seems to have, like, movement in it. That's really all you notice. Damn. You should throw it at somebody and see if it <laughs> I feel like this one is going to make someone explode or something, so I don't know. Where's Blaze? Just throw it at him again. Um, yeah, I guess that's, I guess that's good. I won't, I won't do anything else. Unless I can just, like, check them all, but I don't know if we want to go through all that. And I don't think I'll, I don't think my arcana is that good for me to be able to scan them all. It would be very difficult to figure them out. Yeah, that's fair. I'll have to get them appraised or something. That's all I do. Is I okay. just try to check out that one, and then I'm just gonna rest. Try once, then you give up. Yeah. Nice. Well, because, like, I'm not a magic user, so that's kind of... So you're just, like, trying to snoop around? Pretty much, yeah. Once everyone's asleep, I want to do some snooping for any classified secret information. Okay, so, uh, you do notice that there are, there are always two guards... Well, two of, like, the other ten that are awake and just standing at the doors and just making sure that nothing happens. <laughs> so you got asked as a human, so now everyone's suspicious, so you decided the best thing to do tonight is to snoop around. <laughs> hey, everyone, every, every, Ryan's the only one <laughs> that thinks I'm a human. I only need to meditate for four, four hours, so after that, I'm keeping a close eye on Farron. Okay. Yes, fuck. <laughs> I've been suspicious of you the whole time. Uh, so rule and investigation check then. Alright. Ah! 
seven? Good question. Seven. <laughs> yeah. Uh, on the only interesting things you notice are on the map there are a few locations circled, and uh, beside where it's circled it says SD. SD. Shout it off. And as well, there's like a time along with that too. It's so like where it's you. Where he'd be at You assume times. where Avatar will most likely be at this time versus this time versus this time. Okay. Alright. So I know three locations of where he'll be at specific times. A few locations. Three yeah. locations, okay. Like one of them is the exchange, and then there's also the black market, which is the same place pretty much. Okay. Uh, yep. Then there is one over the library. Over the library? Yeah. Okay. And. One over one of the inns. Yeah, so the exchange. Uh, there's one circling over the Silver Dragon Ale House, one in the library, and one in the Sleeping Saint Inn. Sleeping Saint Inn. And then also the castle is circled too. What times do these all say? First one, or uh, the one at the exchange would be. Well, the ex- exchange staff black market would be probably from like around nine until four. The inn would be from five to six. Library from eight to nine. And uh, what's the other one? The alehouse or the sleeping saint inn? Uh, alehouse. Alehouse would be from uh ten on. Cool. Uh, is there anything else anyone would like to do right now? I just go to bed. Okay, no point in staying up. I want to get my rest. Yeah, I go to bed after that. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you guys all wake up, whatever you do, and uh, Zix will bring you guys some food and drink and whatever you guys need. And he also tells you guys that he has, he tells you he has the explosives you asked for. And he tells you guys that he'll be uh, about five, no, he'll say ten more people will be coming to help us out. And that he's spread word around his most loyal people that this is happening at mid, that the, the event, that's all he told them, is happening at, at midnight. And to just protect anyone that seems in danger. Who isn't the king. <laughs> or Shavadal. Protect the king. Or Shavadal's men. <laughs> so, uh, what type of explosives have you brought me? These are actually marbles. Oh. <laughs> and he says, once you throw them, uh, it'll be like a fireball went off. Uh, and how so big are we talking with this fireball? You should do a cross reference. Uh, it'll probably be about a 10 foot uh, diameter. Ah, oh, good. Good. Fireball <laughs> marbles. I, uh, how they're, many men? Uh, they're only, we were only able to get about seven of these marbles. Wonderful, that'll be more than enough. Um, How many men do I have? Uh, right now, uh, you have ten, and we have ten more that we could supply if you want. Ten will do. Okay. What color are the marbles? They're all, like, fiery red. I check my bag. Is there one that's like that? Roll a investigation (laughs) check. Interesting. Vacations plus one. That's a five. Uh, you seem to think that it's, that all of them are different colors than this one. Alright. Bummer. I'll keep it in mind, I guess. <laughs> There's one that's similar, but it's, it seems different. Maybe it's larger. She's a larger fireball. One can dream. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Just swap it in front of the head. <laughs> <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Please. Uh, is there anything else you guys can think of that would help with this <laughs> event we're about to do tonight? Um, <laughs> some gold. <laughs> no. So, we know where Shabada is going to be, right? We were pretty sure about, about where he will be, yes. And uh, does he usually travel by himself, or does he usually have a couple of people with him? Uh, it depends on where he's going. Okay. Uh, when he's in the exchange or the black market... He's usually alone, but he has loyal subjects everywhere there. Uh, he's usually got a few loyal subjects wherever he goes. Maybe not traveling exactly with him, but always within, like, a block or so. And I'm pretty sure that Travadal will be at the alehouse at midnight. So if we can try to do- catch him 
sometimes there. Like maybe if he's taking a piss outside or something, <laughs> nice. and grab him or kill him there. So what I'm thinking? It'd be best not to do everything in the alehouse yes. for obvious reasons. What I'm thinking is if we can get him at least semi alone and lay in wait. Then I can cast whole person on him, and then we can just hit him with everything we've got. Sounds good. Hopefully that works. I have an idea. You could uh, go in there, the black market, Mm -hmm. and tell him you know where Zixi is, uh, and then you can get him in a private conversation. If we did tell him, we were going to tell him. And I am coming with you guys, so... Mm -hmm. But but what's your... uh, Out of character, what's your charisma... (laughs) My charisma. What's your yeah, most, say, at midnight? What's going to be the most populated area? Is plus three. Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm double proficient in uh, it. The most populated yeah. area would probably be one of the night markets. Night markets, okay. But please don't harm people. Oh, no, no one's going to get okay. harmed. Okay, great. Should I change that mark? I'm trying to yes. switch. Should I? Yeah. yeah, do it. Not really in character, but I kind of want to do it. Do it. I'm going to try to swap out my my red marble for one of the fireball ones okay. without him noticing. Uh, do a sleight of hand, okay. and that'll be against your uh, passive perception. If you even care that it's happening. To the you. passive perception is 12. 13. 15. Yeah, you're able to sink the marble in. And you're, are you taking one out too? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to just like quickly just like swap them with like my red one with that one. Okay. And put it in my bag. Six marbles now plus one random one. <laughs> I feel like that's going to be bad because you were going to use those for your ride, weren't you? So now he's going to have a random red marble. Though we know it could summon a fucking dragon. That'd be amazing. That'd be horrible. <laughs> It'd make good distraction. That was the, that was such a non thought out idea. <laughs> oh god. It was it was more of a joke thing, and it's not really yeah. in my character. But I kind of want to see what happens. <laughs> I feel like Ryan is slowly becoming more chaotic good. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, you have to adapt. <laughs> yeah, exactly. This whole fucking quest is chaotic. <laughs> but, uh, okay. So, uh, Ayla and Del, what's our plan? I don't really Zixi. know. Yeah, you're coming with us, right? Wait, what's... Beast right. Neck's going with them. Zixi's coming with us. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. he's a little stealthy boy. And because of that, Zix will say, do you think it would be better for me to come with you? Uh, like no, two active speech because I it, it's a good idea, but I don't have out of character. I don't have very good deception. And there's always the chance it goes wrong. And the then dog Zixi. doesn't know what you look like or who you are. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter who we bring with us. That's true. I guess so. Yeah. And we could also just say like, "Hey, we have this guy. We'll take you to him." But the but less people with Ireland and I, the better. So yeah. maybe Zixi should go with him. All right. Sure. Okay. Sounds good. But, uh, Aylor and Del, do you want to... And then we could, like, pretend to have captured him and bring him to Shavadon. And, uh, maybe he'll have his guard down for a second and we can... I'll cast a whole person and then we can kill him. Can you cast multiple spells? Depends on if it's a concentration spell. It is a concentration spell. Yeah. You don't necessarily have to be the one doing the killing blow, though. Yeah. I can teleport, so... Cool. Well, that's a fun fact. <laughs> it's because he's an Eldrin. Yeah. Oh, Mrs. Yeah, step. my yeah. face step. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is there anything you guys also would like to do before the starts? Um, like, how do we want to approach getting that castle? I ask for smoke pellets. I know exactly how this is going to work for me. <laughs> smoke pellets? I ask him if he's got some smoke pellets. What if we get some? Oh, uh, I can I can get them here in a few minutes. I would love some smoke pellets. <laughs> Great, but then do you send sort of the guys off to What about a, a rope? We could, like, scale the side. I don't know how we want to enter it, because we don't want to just go up through the front door. I actually have <laughs> 50 feet of hempen rope. It's too bad the castle wall is 60 feet high. <laughs> Bummer. <laughs> you got a 10-foot I think I also have rope. rope. Yeah, and everyone has rope. rope. Yeah. It's like a starting thing. Yeah. Yeah. Be stack will again put an image of both the king and... Well, I mean, uh, King Ulysses and Cochran on the wall. Like to say, could we get them to let us in, do you think? Uh, that's a good idea, but uh, King Ulysses isn't going to just be okay with yeah. us kidnapping King Alan. I mean, if he is, do we really want to put him in charge? <laughs> well, you could just say, hey, we need to get into the castle and King Alan isn't letting us in because he's not happy with us, so can you just come open the gate for me? It's it's so so cool. Cool. It's like, yes, that's what I was meaning. Okay, uh, I pull out the Rocky Talk and I'm like, uh, 
Uh, paging King Ulysses. Paging King Ulysses. <laughs> King Ulysses here. Over. <laughs> uh, this is, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Shut up! Uh, <laughs> this is uh, this is Blaze. Uh, I need a favor. Over. Yes. What is it, Blaze? Over. <laughs> uh, we need to alien down. I need to get in the castle. Do you think you can give us a hand? Over. Uh, it depends on what you need to get into the castle for. Over. Uh, we need to get in the castle to return you. That seems kind of sketchy. Over. <laughs> Uh, I didn't say over yet. Let me finish. Uh, we get chests. We need to. I stole a book and I want to put it back before he notices. Was it ten ways to make crepes? Don't shame me <laughs> for enjoying a popular book series. It's understandable. It's understandable. Yeah. Uh. uh well, first, yeah. Uh, I I can try to get you in. Suddenly, I have doubts about letting this guy take over. <laughs> you yeah. just drop oh, a roll. I was gonna roll deception. Uh, I mean, uh, insight after, and you would have to roll deception. But I would have to. Yeah, I'm just retconning that conversation. So, as he say what that is, uh, fourteen. Uh, he got a ten. So you've dece- deceived him. I feel bad. I actually like this guy, but uh, <laughs> listen, uh, it. Trust me, everything's gonna be fine. Uh, that... Uh, I don't know, that sounds kind of sketchy now that you're saying that. I can't say anything right, and I give the, the fucking talking to Aylor now. Listen. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just grab it, and I hold it up, and I just go, uh... Hey, can you let us in? <laughs> I'm not sure if he's telling the truth about why you need to get in, so, uh, why do you want to get in? Why do you need to come into the castle? Um, I would have heard, I would have heard what he said, yeah. right? So I was just like, uh, well, Blaze just wants to return his book, and he doesn't want the other king to know, to know about it. <laughs> this is such a childish thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. If you come right now, I can probably pull some strings to get you in. Yeah, we'll we'll leave right away. Okay, sounds good. I don't I don't know how long I can keep you here for those over. Just That's okay. Kane we'll... really doesn't like you guys for obvious reasons. Over. That's okay. Like... He'll uh, he'll get over it. <laughs> I like you guys, so I'm gonna I'll try to help. He probably won't get over it because he's kind of a childish son of a bitch, but you know. Whatever. I mean, he's gonna, because we're gonna kidnap him. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I'll, I'll see you in a few minutes. Over. Alright. And that is where we will end this episode of Nat 20. And we'll see you guys in a few minutes. <laughs> Why are you such like this? <laughs>